Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel Physics Surgery and here we are in Physics Surgery Originals and today we are going to look at a beautiful combination of uh, thermodynamics and modern physics where we would try to apply the laws of thermodynamics of ideal gases to a photon gas. Okay, so let's go ahead and see the formal wording of this interesting question. So here it is. This is a comprehension that I prepared and some information is given at the top. And there are two questions following that particular information with options given. Okay, so you want to have a try with an unbiased mind, pause the video here, try to give it somewhere around five to 10 minutes and then come back for the solution and the concept that I'm going to explain for this unique looking problem. Okay, right. So the first part of problem was inspired from a previous JE mains question. I've added my own twist to the problem in the second part. Okay, so let's move ahead. Consider a spherical shell of radius R at a temperature T. The black body radiation inside it can be considered as an ideal gas with internal energy per unit volume, small u, is equal to energy by volume u by v, which is proportional to t power 4 as per Stefan's law. And the pressure that this particular uh, gas, which is made of photons, exerts on the wall is given by 1 by 3 times of u divided by v. Okay, consider two different cases of expansion in the following problems. Okay, so let's go ahead with the first question. If the spherical shell were to undergo a reversible adiabatic expansion, the relation between the pressure P and volume V of the shell during the process obeys, and he has given four options, PV power 5 by 3, PV power 4 by 3, PV, and PV power 1 by 3 equal to constant, which you have to choose from. Okay, so... We'll start off with the first question and then we'll go ahead with the second one. Okay. So in the first question, if you carefully observe, he's talking about a reversible adiabatic process. So the, to the right of the screen, just imagine if this is a spherical shell and slowly but steadily, this is let's say flexibly expanding every dt seconds by a small length of dr. That's what a reversible process means, right? So it should contain all the infinitesimal possibility steps, okay? So for that particular photon gas, if I write the first law, dq is equal to du plus dw, not only that, he has also mentioned in the question that u is equal to 3pv, right? He has given pressure as 1 by 3 uv, therefore u by v, and therefore I have written it in this format. Since it is adiabatic, which means there is no heat supply from outside, right? dq should be zero in every step of that expansion, and dw should be simply PDV. It's a simple logic. So if I differentiate this DU using this one, this would become 3 PDV plus 3 VDP and this PDV as it is borrowed. And you rearrange, you'll get 4 dV by V plus 3 dP by P is equal to a zero. So integrate and then you end up getting that this particular relation is a constant and hence you rearrange with the normal logarithmic powers, you'll get PV power 4 by 3 equal to constant valid for a reversible adiabatic process applied to a photon gas. The gas is made of photons. Okay, right. So this is a basic uh, idea of any black body cavity radiator. Okay, right. So the 17th question, the answer should be B. Okay, right. Let's move ahead with the 18th one. You want to give it a try now. This is a second chance for you in case you understood the 17th one. It would be beautiful if you can try out the 18th on your own. Okay, assuming you have tried, I'll go ahead with the solution now. Okay, the spherical shell of a gas of radius R is surrounded by an adiabatic spherical shell of radius 2R. That means here there's a gas of radius R and this is surrounded by a radius 2R. If the inner shell wall is broken, then the photon gas undergoes adiabatic free expansion into the outer shell, right, which is there. If the initial temperature of the pho photon gas in the inner shell is T0, then the final temperature after the free expansion mentioned is, he has given four possible values of the temperature when this wall breaks and the photon gas goes into this entire structure, okay? So it's called adiabatic free expansion, okay? So let's move ahead with the idea here. One of the mistakes that you may commit if you're not careful is applying the previous problem solution to the next one. That is wrong because that was a reversible adiabatic process, whereas free expansion is a irreversible one. So let's move ahead to the next idea. So in an irreversible process, you could see on the right side, I've depicted it by breaking the wall here, the gas, which is made of photons, obviously, starts leaking into this. When it leaks, you should understand it's going into vacuum. So there is no pressure acting on that 
That's why it's called free expansion. So in that free expansion, which is adiabatic, first of all, DQ, DU, and DW are not defined. In, in individual steps are not defined because it's a irreversible process, right? Uh, you would not have any intermediate steps. The pressure, volume, and temperature of the system will be only initially and finally defined, and in between, it will not be. This is similar to your uh, irreversible free expansion of even an ideal gas. When a a uh, wall breaks and it doubles its volume, the kind of a situation that you're very familiar with. Okay, so, but I can still define the entire value of Q. DQ is not there, but Q, I can say it is zero. That's because it's called adiabatic. There's no heat supply from anywhere outside. Work done on it by the uh, surroundings, because there's no surroundings. There's no one to pressurize this gas as it goes in, as it's free, P external is zero, so work done is also zero. So if Q and W are zero, then delta U has to be zero, which means the initial value of uh, internal energy should be equal to its final value. Either I can write PV equal to constant. Remember, U is for photon gas given in the question as 3 PV, remember? So I can write P1, V1 equal to P2, V2, or I can substitute for P in terms of volume as V into T power 4 equal to constant from the given question, which immediately transforms. So volume is for in this problem sphere. So this would be R cube. And therefore, T into R power 3 by 4 should be T final into when it becomes 2R. Remember, the shell now has a radius of 2R. Once the gas occupies that, gives you this answer. Okay, so reversible adiabatic expansion and a reversible adiabatic expansion of the two questions are definitely different processes. Okay, I hope you understood this and let me go ahead and mark the options for you. So this one, the answer should be B. And for this one, the answer also should be B. Okay, so in case you have liked this video, please do check out the rest of the originals. Uh, playlist is in the link, link is link of the playlist is in the description below. Along with that, there are other series which cater to needs of different students, but all of them are lovely physics problems for whom solutions would be slightly uh, unique in a way that I treat them. So you definitely will not get bored even if you know the solutions beforehand. Okay, so try to play them in loop two to three day, videos per day in case you are new to this channel and try to finish off most of the videos. Uh, you will be richer in physics at JE level and Olympiad level for sure. Okay, so 120 above videos I have done till now. I'm not uh, uh, counting them. So I think each and every video is worth your while. Okay, so in case you like this video, please do like it. YouTube algorithm presses the liked videos more to the audience. And also please do comment what I should take in the next video, right? To comment anything and the more commented videos also get pressed to the audience. So, and I do read all your comments and you can follow. I reply to most of the comments and the doubts. So, so please don't hesitate to comment, okay? And share it with your friends on Telegram and WhatsApp group so that it can grow, uh, help me grow my channel. Okay, so please do subscribe to it if in case you are new and you want to get convinced to get subscri subscription, I would say please watch three or four, four videos. You would definitely understand the quality I present. Okay, thank you uh, for showing confidence in me and staying with me and see you in the next video.